Desiree with theastrologyaddiction.com and thank you so much for watching. Today's video is going to be on your sign secret addiction and I thought this would be a really fun video because each sign has their vices. You know, they have the things that they can be obsessed with, that they love, that they want more of and they can't get enough of. So I thought that this would be a fun video to dive into. You can listen to this for your sun, moon, rising or if you are studying someone else, you can listen to their sun, moon or rising. Now for Cancer, please keep watching until the end of the video and I will tell you which sign a Cancer can be most addicted to. But as far as things that they can be addicted to, they can definitely be addicted to people that aren't really good for them. A Cancer likes sometimes to be, you know, loved. They like to be nurtured. They like to be in a relationship. And sometimes they can be even drawn towards people that are using them just as, you know, a stepping stool or as a support system, as a shoulder to cry on. And this is in friendships or partnerships um, because they are so sensitive and people can see that if the, if the cancer doesn't have their walls up, you know, they will definitely make someone feel very comfortable and like they can be themselves and share whatever they need to with this person. So sometimes the cancer can um, become, you know, addicted to to helping people in that way and to these people who just suck their positive, nurturing, you know, beautiful energy out of them and that aren't really great for them. Now, Cancers also really like sweets, I found. Most Cancers that I know have a really strong sweet tooth and I'm not sure what this comes from, but I just will say it <laughs> that they usually have some type of a sweet tooth that they have a really big addiction towards and are, it's hard to break for them. I'm not sure if this comes from the moon ruling their sign. Um, I think it would because, you know, the moon in our solar system does move so quickly and it's, you know, ruling the, ruling this, this person. So they can have these cravings that just come and go. And for a lot of them, it is sweets for some people salty, but um, you know, they will just have this reoccurring craving that comes around. Now, I think cancers can also get addicted to overthinking. I think that they are very concerned with what people think about them. Sometimes they can have negative vibes that, you, and that they pick up from people or, you know, they just become self-critical in that way because they are so sensitive. So they can definitely get in their head and start to overthink relationships and um, experiences that they've had, just daily even interactions that the normal, probably ra you know, random person might just not even think twice about or say, who cares what that person thinks? Like whatever, why would you care about that? Um, these people can really get into these moods of, of just overthinking and sometimes even like self-loathing can be somewhat of an addiction if they're you know on that lower frequency i think cancers also a lot of times can get ad addicted to the bottle to drinks um because they um you know it's a liquid and cancers definitely again are just much more sensitive to physical stimulants and alcohol is just such a common thing many people drink it and don't have any problem with it but um i think for cancer sometimes um, it can really affect them, you know, affect their weight, affect their decisions, and sometimes they can even go overboard with it. Um, there are some cancers that can certainly be 100% fine with it, but I think there are quite a few that I know and that I've um, experienced that definitely take it a little bit, um, uh, you know, too far or that it just affects them a little bit differently than other people. Me example, for an example, I have my Mars and cancer. Um, it does affect my physical body when I drink and, you know, makes me very ill the next day, truly. Um, so that's something that I've had to learn. And I know people with cancer suns, cancer moons that have, you know, similar but different um, experiences with it so definitely something to keep in mind now a cancer would be addicted to a sign and i think i would say they'd be most addicted to an aries because um it's a square cardinal sign to them so it is a very frustrated aspect but it's also very attractive you know aries are fighters they go for what they want they like to be the leaders and cancers like to support, you know, they like to support someone who is on that path. But at the same time, an Aries really likes to encourage, they like to cheerlead, they like to, you know, so it's a good mix. It's like a great nurturing and then a great cheerleader. And when they can be on the same team and working together, it can be such an addictive energy. Um, they can definitely have really big, huge blow up fights. 
that are addictive because of that square aspect. It's not um, an easy flowing positive aspect. It is more challenging, but this definitely, um, you know, shows that frustration is very attractive and can be addictive for them. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you're interested in booking a reading with me, my link is in the description box. Please leave your feedback below and have a great day. Bye.